In this presentation, I am going to describe the dynamic thibonic retracement principle for trend forecast. And this is one of our best innovation. And uh, using this principle, many different concepts we have developed for the trading. So I am going to describe this particular method. What is this innovation and how far it has succeeded? So when I talk about the Fibonic retracement principle, what we used to do in a traditional method or the method which most of the people use as a retracement principle. First you used to take a difference between a high and a low which is known as your price range. Then you multiply that with the Fibonic ratios and you need to add it to the low to derive the resistance and subtract it from the high to derive the support. And success rate in this particular method is up to 50%. So this is what the success rate this particular method can give. However, in our uh, method, we made a specific changes. So dynamic principle is little different. So I am just going to describe this is static principle first. And uh, based on that, I will establish a difference with the dynamic principle. So imagine I am taking the nifty nifty previous days data. So this I am recording on the 6th April 2016. So 5th April nifty has made a high of 7759.50 low 7609.95. It has last settled at 7623.5. So this three price point I am taking here. So this is the high. So this is the high for previous day and this is the low for the previous day and this is the last settled price or the last traded price for the previous day. So this is for the 5th April, 5th April 2016. So based on this data, if I am using the traditional Fibonic retracement principle, I will be taking the difference between the high and low. So my price range comes to 149.55 then I am just multiplying 0 0.236, 0 0.382, 0 0.382, 0 0.618, all these retracement levels I am just multiplying with that I am getting different price ranges. Then I am adding these price ranges with the day slow and subtracting it from the day high. I am deriving these price points. And I have, as for the closing, I have closed at 7623 which is in the downtrend, in downtrend, point triple eight retracement level I have set it on 5th April. So how I can take a clue for the 6th April as per this traditional Fibonic retracement principle. So on 6th April, which is today, if the price move above the death zone, which is 7667, as per the traditional principle, not as per my principle of dynamic principle. It is as per the Fibonic original rule, as per the traditional way of using this Fibonic ratio. On 6th April, if the price move above 7667, which is above the death zone, I'll think of purchasing it. Think of purchasing it. And for a target of 7724, and same time, if if the price managed to fall below 7574, which is 1.236 retracement level, on 6th April, I can sell it for a final target of 7518. I can use the Fibonacci ratio in, in between this 7574 to 7517 to derive the intermediate levels. This is what the original Fibonacci principle says. If you look into today's price chart, if you look into the today's price chart, what happened on the 6th of April, it has opened up at 7.645 and gone a high till 7.654, low 7.603 and settled at 7.634. So between 7,654 to 7,603, it has moved throughout the day. So based on this particular principle, if I can look into, I have never got a chance to trade. I have never got a chance to trade as per the traditional Fibonacci principle. 
and similar kind of things you can observe in many occasions wherein you will not be awarded with one chance to trade also as per this particular principle. So if you change it with the last one hours high and low you may get some trading levels but that is also very suspicious. In that case also your success is just being restricted to a level of 50%. More than 50% if you are getting then it is just a good luck for you. So more than 50% of success is highly impossible as per this particular method. So what we did in this. So this method is not wrong, Fibonic principle is not wrong or Fibonic ratios are not wrong. So what I did here, I have just made a little bit changes in this particular method. So what are the changes I have brought in the Fibonic dynamic principle? You need to take the daily volatility, multiply the daily volatility with the previous day's last traded price to derive the price range. So your price range calculation is being changed, which is before you are taking the high and low difference, you are here you are taking the daily volatility, multiplying with the last traded price and getting the prices. And this makes a great sense because you are considering the volatility of that particular instrument as a part of your analysis. Then you move to the third part wherein you have to multiply this price range with the Fibonic ratio. This is as used to do in the traditional method, nothing, no changes in Fibonic ratio, no changes in this particular part. Then this is very important. What we are doing here are this previous day's last traded price with this multiplied results. Are this with the previous price, previous days, are this particular Fibonic multiplication price points with the previous day's last traded price to derive the resistance and subtract from a single price point. So here what I did, I derived the resistances and supports from a single price point which is your last traded price. Then I put a simple rule here, if the next day which is not known to us, if there is a gap up or gap down above or below our trend confirmation line, then we need to reject this last traded price and we have to consider that this open price as a reference point from where we will be calculating the resistances and so on. By changing these particular things, by changing the price range calculation, by changing the reference price for projecting the different resistance and supports, I have found out an amazing success in this particular method wherein the success rate of this particular trend forecast has gone up to 70 to 75%. So this I am just demonstrating now. So same thing I have taken and what I have done previous day, previous day the volatility, this is a subject not alerted here. So the volatility of Nifty future was 1.11%. I have multiplied with the last traded price 7623. 7623 was the last traded price of 5th April. I multiplied with 1.11. I got the price range as 84.62. Same 84.62 is being multiplied with all your Fibonic ratios and you got the Fibonic price ranges. That got added with 7623.5 which is the last traded price and you got all these levels 7643.47, 7655.82 these are the levels you have got and if you look at the opening open happened at 7645.20 7645.20 you have opened for the day which is falling on the 6th April 2016 so which is slightly two point above your entry level, buy entry level. If you are buying at 7643.47, your stop loss will be 7603.53. You bought it and it has a tendency to go faster, get was 7655.82 and you have, you have scaled till 7653.80. Just one or one and a half points you have missed. And the low of the day also 7603.45, which is just, you can say, near to your 0.236 retracement. Though it is a consolidation day, however, high of the day, opening of the day, low of the day, if you compare these three price points with this dynamic principle, then you will get a great difference you can feel in this.
you must ask me from where I have taken this reference of volatility. I have taken the reference of volatility from this index data wherein I am just going to the daily volatility column here, Nifty Futures, daily volatility 1.11. So this data I have taken and from here only I have projected. However, if you take a real-time estimate of the volatility, the result will be entirely different, readings will be entirely different. However, if you can say, if you compare it with the static method, opening 7645, never touched that 7667 level, and none of this price point is meeting with your price point what has happened on the daily chart, neither the high of the day nor the opening of the day nor the low of the day, none of this price point calculated using the static method is matching with your calculations what you have done with reference to the previous days, high, low and last reference. However, if you compare with the dynamic principle, the low of the day is just exactly to your 0.236 calculation point, high of the day just missed by 1 rupee 40 paisa from the 0.38 to the interest point and opening also just 1.5 point, 1.5 rupees difference from 0.56. However, this volatility estimate, if it changes, if you change this volatility estimate to a real-time volatility estimate instead of 1.11, then the result will be amazing. So using this particular concept also, our 1SD trend forecast method is being developed. So the so the one standard deviation trend forecast method what we have developed. So based on this Fibonic principle, however, our volatility estimate is slightly different from this. So I'll be demonstrating this thing also how our 1SD trend forecast method work for the day as for this particular method. So as for the one standard deviation what we have taken with, which is a advanced method of calculating the volatility. One standard deviation just contribute towards the volatility. Based on that if you can just compare our buy entry was sitting at 7657 level and sell entry is being calculated to 7622 level and first target was 7611 and second target was 7594 if you can say that without any hurdles during the day it has opened up scaled a high which is not above our buy entry level. It has never tossed that buy entry level also till 53 only it has gone. So and post that it has slided and very much it has given you a chance to sell and very much it has given you the chance to earn 11 points in this particular trade. So the very important fact of this dynamic pivotic principle is if you improve your volatility calculation, then the trend forecast also will become more accurate. So, so how to use this particular dynamic Fibonic principle in different different trade practice? Use along with the GAN principle, along with the Fibonic principle, how you can add this volatility parameter to your trend calculation methods. So to explain this particular concept we are arranging a one month free course. So the course is starting from 7th April and ending on 29th April 2016 and the outline of those subjects every day what are the subjects will be discussed that is given here and it is a two phase program. One phase you will be learning on the concept on the last part of the program same concept you will be demonstrating in the live market live market you can see how those concepts works in the live market how market respond to those calculations those things you will experience in that so to join this program just register here go to our website smartfinancing.com this above URL is being given here and click on the seminar link and just click on this register and whichever the week you want on those particular weeks you just click on this and register once you register the automated system will allot you about your confirmation of your seat and also the link and all guidelines how to join the event and it is a free event do not miss it please join this event.